So very exciting, we're going to be cooking a real steak au poivre today, a real French classic for all you meat lovers and I can't wait to show you how easy it is to prepare at home, so let's get started. Remove the steaks and butter from the fridge 20 to 30 minutes prior to cooking. This will allow them to reach room temperature. Now preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 180 degrees Celsius with the fan. Slice the potatoes and you can leave the skin on and cut them into fries. Add the fries to a large baking tray with a drizzle of vegetable oil and a generous pinch of salt. Toss the fries in the oil until coated. Place the tray in the oven and roast for 30 minutes or until golden and crisp. Meanwhile, crush black peppercorns in pestle and mortar and add them to a plate with a generous pinch of salt. Press down as you do this to make the pepper stick. Peel and finely slice the shallots. Trim the green beans. Finely chop the chives. Peel and crush the garlic. Mash the chives and garlic with butter. This is your garlic butter. Then place a pot of water to the boil for the green beans later. Heat a large pan with a drizzle of vegetable oil over high heat. Once hot, add the steaks and fry for two or four minutes on each side or until cooked to your liking. Transfer the steaks to a plate and leave to rest for 10 minutes. Reserve the pan and don't wash it. Return the pan to a medium-high heat. Using the spatula, release any bits that may have stuck to the bottom. Add the shallots and cook for three minutes. Add the flour and cook for one more minute. Then, add the measured water, soy sauce, capers and sour cream. Simmer for two to three minutes. Meanwhile, boil the green beans in a pot of salted boiling water for three or four minutes until tender. Drain once tender, place in a serving bowl and top with the garlic butter. Serve alongside the potatoes, the cream sauce and the rested tenderloin steaks. Bon appétit! So I can't wait to try this. This is a great dish for meat lovers, a great date night or weekend starter. Just uh, took us about half an hour to get it on the plate. So nice and easy, a real gourmet recipe. I'm gonna dig into this. So bon appétit. If you like this kind of recipes, you can find more here. You can always subscribe to our channel and uh, give us a thumbs up. Bon appétit.